All right, first time didn't work out too well with macaron. So this time around, we'll use uh, espresso instead uh, with a decent amount of cooldown with damage resist. All right, and uh, the rest of them. I, I don't know if I need a little bit more cooldown on uh, squid ink, but we'll just try it out here and, and see how it turns out. And here we go. Attempt number two. Um, I mean, Stardust works out, but the thing is, the, the good thing about Stardust from last season is that Stardust Cookie actually had a ambush cookie buff uh, for, for the season, for season 16. But this time around, there is no real ambush cookie buff. It's mainly just, uh, you know, going with just the, uh, the magic cookie buff right here. And I mean, there is a crit damage, so... Overall crit damage, we can just go with a full-on Juicy Apple Jelly topping on Stardust and probably make it work out inside of the team. Uh, we can try it out afterwards, all right? But we'll just go with Espresso this time around with the classic triple DPS here with a Moonlight, Espresso, and Squid Ink and just see how it turns out. If it doesn't, then uh, we'll, we'll see. Yes, we do, we do uh, you know, ha have to sacrifice here a little bit on the healing with macaron uh being removed but we also do get more dps though right so we get more damage so we might just not take as much damage because we're able to kill off the enemies a lot faster than having macaron on the team so we'll, we'll see how it turns out I, d I don't know it's uh of course again my second time doing this uh, we, we i kind of wanted to see who the uh boss was but we didn't even get to see the boss at the end and I gotta keep my eyes out on uh, who actually died. I didn't, I didn't even know somebody died uh, and and used the revive. So I, when Macaron died at the dragon last time, I thought somebody will revive, but no one revived. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this one turns out. It was Donut. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't know when Donut died. Yeah, Donut can be kind of squishy. Uh, donut is really, really good, still. And if not, it, and if Donut doesn't work out, we can go with Purple Yam too. Using Purple Yam is not a not a problem right now, uh, especially just because of the fact that it's right now, uh, it's not Charge Cookie attack as well as HP. It's just HP. So going with Purple Yam is not a bad idea, just for the overall sustain. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Wave 35. I think uh, 40, 48 was uh, the tactician, wasn't it? That's our season 16 wave 48 right there. The, sh uh, the sugar swan. 37. Done. And... 38 39 I mean you just gotta kill the enemy before these stuns actually happen and also if you have cream puff magic candy then you are stun immune so uh, you don't need to worry about stuns if you have cream puff in your team and here we go got these birds the, the bird laser All right, there's the uh, second uh, Hound Princess, where Hound Princess. Gone right there. The Poison Mushroom Alchemist, the Poison Combo. All right. So far, so good. I mean, our HP is pretty, uh, pretty healthy here. Not bad, not bad. Later on, it, it becomes a little bit of a problem uh, with the uh, with the HP hit shield later on, so that kind of gets scary. But 
right, there we go. Kind of got scary right there again. Um, our, our cookies did take a big chunk of damage, but Cream Puff needs to heal there. Good, good. Good thing is that uh, Moon Knight does a lot of uh, multiple hits, about seven hits. Espresso does multiple hits. Squid Ink does about ten hits. So... All right, and here we go. I don't like these guys. These guys definitely hurt. And Espresso actually might die here. Nope, not didn't die. Uh, that's that's good. That's good. Um, our Space Donut is getting close to dying again. Cream Puff did heal it though. Good, good. That's uh, nice to see. The poison damage coming out. Cream Puff needs to heal again. Come on, Cream Puff, heal. And the healing came out. Good, good. And the dragon here, and Squid Ink. Hopefully, uh, Space Donut survives. Space Donut did survive again. All right, wave 57, Cream Puff healing. And I think Space Donut revive right there instead of uh, earlier on. So I think we should be pretty good here. Healing comes out again, Espresso dealing the damage. Uh, Squid Ink should be able to use skill here, finish off that wave. Green Puff should be able to use skill, heal up our cookies, get rid of the Squid Ink here quickly. Good. And Space Donut still alive. And the last one is going to be the White Sugar Guardian Golem here. Space Donut did die, uh, but I think we should still be able to finish it, hopefully here. Green Puff heal, Moonlight damage. Uh-oh, getting close. Getting close, and there we go. Wow, with our three cookies dying, we still got to clear it. 6.8 million damage this time around. Uh, we finished it around four minutes. Probably could have been a little bit faster if we had a little bit more cooldown on uh, Squid Ink and Espresso, but not too bad. Uh, worked out actually a lot better uh, than Macaron. All right, so there you guys go. This is the damage output here. Okay, so the Space Donut, not bad. Uh, Moonlight, of course, doing the most damage here. Uh, espresso, not bad. Squid Ink also uh, doing a big chunk of damage. And Cream Puff uh, with 22 million. Not bad, not bad. I mean, there are some crit factors as well, guys. Just keep that in mind. Uh, there are crit factors that come into play. That's going to be Cookie Alliance Season 17 cleared. All right. And I'm still at Master 2. I mean, of course, uh, it, it will de definitely depend on... Uh, the, the other players too because not a lot of players are uh, have played it yet so the top 1% is really 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 tough right now so okay but not bad not bad